Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing you another video. This time I'm going to switch it up and bring and talk about Battleborn. For those of you that have been living under a rock, Battleborn is a brand new game from the guys of Gearbox that's creating uh, Borderlands. So it has a very similar feel and it will be released May 3rd, 2016. Now this game has a little bit of a controversy around it because largely a lot of people are comparing this game to um, Overwatch from Blizzard. Uh, largely because one, it has heroes, and two, because it's a, it has a really similar release date. Uh, Overwatch is going to be May 24th, whereas this is May 3rd. To me personally, I think comparing this game to Overwatch does both games a dis disservice because it really is different. The only thing that's really similar about this game is it has heroes. That's pretty much about it. So without further ado, here's my review of Battleborn. So what is Battleborn? Battleborn is a MOBA-like game, very similar to like Dota 2, League of Legends, etc. Where it differs from those games is it's third person, very similar to Smite for example. Unlike Smite, however, it's much more fast-paced, uh, where Smite, you kind of have that very Dota and MOBA-like initial stage of the game and then kind of adopt to the late stage. Uh, in this game, it's more of a FPS, so think about your maps being laid out very FPS-like rather than having lanes or anything like that, uh, but with MOBA-like functionality built in. So let's look at his features and capabilities to kind of get an understanding of what this game brings to the table. So let's talk about characters now. Uh, you have a pretty big list of characters that you can pick from, each with its own unique playstyle. For example, you have Umbra, which is a healer, but she kind of steals health from you uh, to heal your uh, to heal her allies. Then you got Miko, which is another healer, uh, which has an alt attack that just heals you. Um, and then you have your traditional assassin, so this chick right here, which is your uh, single target high DPS. Uh, you have your pushers, like this guy, who you can kind of double jump and kind of fly around in the air for, for a short duration. You have your territorial ones, which is kind of your traditional uh, bunker, so to speak. Uh, so it's very, each of these characters' playstyles is really unique. Um, and you can kind of see it from it from their uh, character model. In addition to the very unique characters, you also have some one of these mutation skills going on. So unlike other MOBAs where you kind of every level you just put points into a skill, in this one every level you mutate one of your skills or the other. Uh, for this one, for, for example, you can pick the left or right one and, and depending on which one you take it changes that skill and finally when you get your character leveled up to 3 5 7 9 12 you unlock an additional mutation that you can use between one or the other so in this particular mutation I can pick either the left one which does this particular uh, effect you can take the right one that adds this effect or you can take the middle one that adds this effect. So it kind of offers a pretty big deal of customizability to your character. So now let's talk about the story mode that this game has. Unlike Overwatch, Battleborn does have a story mode that you can actually complete. It's very similar to a four-person lobby-based mu uh, multiplayer story mode, very similar like Warframe, for example, where you pick a character, you get dumped in the beginning of a quote-unquote dungeon, and you complete the dungeon, and there's a kind of a story that goes on within that particular dungeon slash map. For a story mode, this game offers quite the punch, and I was really unexpected of what I thought the story mode was. Initially, I thought it was going to be kind of a very generic uh, tutorial for multiplayer, but no, this game's story mode can really stand on its own. The spacing for the action is really well done, and then the boss fights. Oh man, the boss fights are excellent, especially when you get the kind of boss introduction in the beginning. It, you can kind of feel where Borderlands has a big impact on this game. Another thing I want to talk about is the boss battles itself. 
in this game's boss battles, at least the ones I've, like, pay, uh, they're really, really intricate. It's not like one of your tanking spank games where you just have a boss and you just attack it and he does some special AoEs or whatever. Like, take a look at this fight, for example. There's a lot going on. You have to attack the guy's kind of uh, legs for him to get lowered down. Then you can attack his main body so overall like you can see that there was a lot of thought put into this boss fight rather than just kind of here's a boss you attack it the end so on to the multiplayer multiplayer in battleborn is very dota like or moba like rather where you have minions and the objective is to get your minions from one end to another there's two game types that the minions come into play called Meltdown and Incursion. And there's a third game type that, where there's no minions, which is called Capture, which is similar to kind of your cap, uh, Capture the Hill, King of the Hill kind of games. Uh, so Meltdown and Incursion. So right now what you're seeing is Incursion. Incursion is essentially you have minions that go and attack quote unquote well. So those of you that play Dota 2 um, League of Legends, these are your stationary wells that are in each other's bases. Uh, the twist to this one is the well will actually attack back. It's a walking giant machine. You can see on the top of the screen, uh, our team has both our wells intact. Um, the other team only has their last well. So in this game mode, essentially think of it as your traditional Dota 2, where um, traditional MOBA rather, where you're getting your minions to this quote unquote well you attack the well you destroy it and you move on to the next one so right now we'll come up to what i call quote unquote the well so that giant monster that you think you see in front of you that robot that is essentially the well uh in this in this game mode where one second just gets defeated it is game over uh so unlike the other ones this one does attack back so think of it as smites you know god at the end of the map the other game that you can play is called Meltdown. Meltdown plays a very significant role for minions because minions are what drives your points in this game mode. Essentially, you get your minions to a quote unquote well, and as they get to it, your points goes up. So depending on what type of minion it is, and whoever reaches 500 points is the victor. Overall, I really think this is a fantastic game. It's a little pricey at the $59.99 price point, but I think having the you know the solo story mode um, as well as the multiplayer warrants the $59.99. If you think about Overwatch, it comes in at $30, but Overwatch doesn't have a single player. It's a multiplayer game, so I really I really think it's it's fantastic in that regard. In addition to having you know all that the multiplayer is very refreshing it's a for me personally i think it's a great mix of moba like quality so for people that want to get into a moba like game um in addition to having that it's a fps game it's not like smite where it's still a moba but in third person this game is an fps game with moba like elements so for that reason i really think it it stands out as its own uh so that pretty much wraps up this early preview slash review thing i don't know what to call it uh if you guys like it please do like and subscribe if i missed anything that you guys want me to clarify please leave it in the comment section and until next time this is khalif pvp